It's easy to set up basic file permissions in Microsoft Word 2010. Click on the File tab, click on the Info menu, and in the Permissions group, click on Protect Document. Here are the top three sections deal with basic permissions for your document. The first choice is Mark as Final. If we click on that, we get a dialog box that tells us that this document will be marked as final and then saved. We click OK, and we're further informed that this document has been marked as final to indicate that editing is complete and that this is the final version of the document. Click OK once again, and we'll see the notification here under permissions that this document has been marked as final to discourage editing. Note the use of the word discourage as opposed to stop. Um, people can still edit your document, but they'll be informed that you've made the decision that it is the final document and that it shouldn't be altered. All right, they're, They can work around it if they're persistent enough. Now we can also click protect document and click mark as final once again to undo that and uh, make the document fully editable once again without warnings etc. Now our second choice under protect document is to encrypt with a password. If we click there we're prompted to enter a password. Yeah, you can click OK and enter the password once again and then under permissions we see that a password is required to open this document. Now if I save and then close the document and then go in under recent and open it up once again now I'm prompted for the password that I had just entered. All right. If you want to remove the password click on file back to info go to protect document once again encrypt with password and then simply remove the uh, password bullets so that the edit box is blank click OK and then we see once again anyone can open copy and change any part of this document now the third area that deals with basic permissions as opposed to the last two which are more advanced uh, is restrict editing so if we click on that on the right hand side we get the restrict formatting formatting and editing uh, window which gives us several choices here and now one is to limit formatting to a selection of styles so if I click on that and then click on settings I can choose from the style list uh, the particular styles that are allowed and then uh, click OK and here we it asks this document may contain formatting or styles that aren't allowed do you want to remove them I can say yes to that and now if uh, for example I give this document to a colleague and he or she is doing some editing they're not going to be able to introduce um, you know unauthorized styles into the document they'll be forced to use only the styles that have been chosen uh, for the particular document all right now of course to turn that off simply uncheck it and in our second area here editing restrictions allow only this type of editing in the document we check that off and we can choose no changes at all all right which again is going to be easy enough to bypass by a third party but does indicate your preferences on the matter and then um, you can choose to only allow comments only allow the filling in of forms and uh, or only allow tracked changes all right now um, to start the enforcement you go to the third section and click yes start enforcing protection okay and uh, here we get a choice to either use a password authentication method which means that if they have this particular password they can go beyond the restrictions okay but without it they can only make the chosen changes or to go to uh, user authentication which is um, a, a more advanced 
and would require a uh, server to be set up or using the free Microsoft server. That's a whole other topic. But uh, we can type in a password here and click OK. And now the protection is in place for this document. All right, and we can always close this window to get a full view once again. And that is an introduction to the basic uh, protections for documents in Microsoft Word 2010. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to Help Video Guru on YouTube.